guys, I got my board. We're gonna be doing some snowboarding with SSX and shit. Right. What are we doing? Playing SSX. Blast that pickle reaver! Boy oh boy, I can't wait to just take out my wood and just jump out of an airplane and just land fiercely inside a patch of white stuff as I just ride and grind it and get more and just get higher on the score meter until I get higher and higher and higher and keep thrusting and going faster and faster and okay I'm gonna stop now this is starting to sound like something else what's up guys it's Mr. Dark Phoenix here and I'm bringing you my review of SSX and let me just tell you nothing feels better than jumping out of a plane and sliding down the slopes with your board as the snow and wind flow through your hair makes you forget all your makes you forget about all your problems doesn't it well if you can't afford the luxury of snowboarding EA and video games are always here to help to do what they can to make your life in the virtual world probably more better than it is in the real world. And that's snowboarding. SSX is the newest installment from EA Sports and the snowboarding game and they are back to give us the SSX baby we've all wanted since SSX Tricky. The story of the sports game, well you can keep trying to find one in the meantime, but the plot behind this game is to shred, race, and get the tricks, beat your high score, and other snowboarders who try and race against you. It's pretty self-explanatory if you ask me, but you know, it's a sports game, so we're going to go on with that. Your gameplay is separated into two categories, for whatever suits you. If you're an SSX veteran, then far from the start, you're going to be picking the style you're used to, and if you're a newcomer to SSX, you're going to want to try maybe the way we used to play it, or maybe you're going to try the new way. But either way, getting the trick meter and getting your score high is by all means, you can board however you want. Either way, you can choose from the right analog stick or the four buttons for doing your tricks and landing the high score. The button combinations and careful timing are what makes your character the talk of the snowy mountain and what gets you all the gold. GOLD! At least Riggs returns from the original SSX games and boy do I feel at home with one of my favorite characters and other snowboarding warriors return as well along with new characters, so you're on the road to picking your favorite from the new school from the old school. Your tricks are all used with whichever controls you pick. For the sake of the controller, B and X do one trick, X and A do another, but you have to land these with careful timing and it's going to get a lot more complex, as it's going to affect your entire game, because if you mess up a trick, you're going to have your face covered in snow and shame not a good look for if you're trying to impress a snowboarding lady. The settings have changed and are more open with room to explore at a fast pace and less invisible walls to get in the way of this game. It's real and does not disappoint. Now my verdict on this game reflects how much fun I've had and so far. In the long run you're probably going to get bored with it in the long run but that does not stop me from giving this game a try on my review meter. Give this game a shot because it deserves it and because you are going to have a lot of fun playing it with yourself or with your friends and I'm telling you right now try it and then it's not going to let you down at all SSX is a tricky boost in the right direction because it's awesome and don't forget you guys don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to check out my channel for more game reviews dude I came in third! It was a time trial, you were the only one there. I still came in last place! I was the only person there and I still got third for some reason! Damn! I need to go practice more on that mountain! Later guys!